Hi, welcome to Counselor's Corner. I'm Lori Hallberg, and with me is Craig Hawkins from Midland High. We have a busy month for you, information for you for January, especially for our seniors. First, we have Financial Aid Night, which is really for our parents of our seniors. It's a night at January 21st at Dow High in the cafeteria, where we will have a local college financial aid representative who will talk about completing the FAFSA and talk about general scholarship information. So that's a good one to go to, especially if your child is your first student going through and graduating this year. Also with that, dealing with the FAFSA. FAFSA stands for Free Application for Federal Student Aid. And it's a, an application that you have to fill out after you complete your taxes, and you, it's available starting January 1st. If your taxes are not done till later, you can always estimate and then go back because the application is, do, is due by March 1st. We really suggest that all parents complete this application. Um, some colleges want this application completed before they give out scholarships. Along with the FAFSA, Delta College has what's called College Goal Sunday, which is um, February 9th and you can bring in all your tax information and they will help you to complete the FAFSA. The FAFSA is done online and it, you want to go to the .gov site and you want to make sure it's a free application. You should not have to pay for it. Before the FAFSA can be completed, both the parents and the students need to have a PIN number and that you can get anytime and then you have to have it before you can submit your FAFSA application. Kind of going along with the FAFSA or scholarship information, um, some students will be receiving a letter home from the Michigan, or Michigan Competitive Scholarship. This is a scholarship through the ACT and there's two components for it. First you have to have a certain ACT score and then also you have to show com um, financial need. If your student did not give their Social Security number for the ACT test, you'll receive a letter home asking you to contact the state and give them the Social Security number. And again, to receive the scholarship, you have to have both components, the ACT score and financial need. While we're talking about seniors, I might as well tell you about seventh semester transcripts. Um, some colleges want to see that first semester of senior year. So what your student needs to do is go on to parchment.com, they already have an account, they should know how to do it, and request their next grading period. That way we know to send the first semester grades to the college. And if they have any problems filling this out or completing it, they can come to the counseling center and we can help them. One other thing we have in January is our incoming ninth parent night. Um, and this is at both high schools. And it is a night to help our incoming ninth grade parents to really see what high school life is about. Um, they get to hear um, from teachers in different subject areas, a little bit of the curriculum, and just life in general at each high school. Another important component that we do, uh, high school counselors, is we go down to the middle schools and meet with the eighth grade students to explain the whole, all the elements about what is new for the high school for them. Uh, getting used to the high school environment, uh, what it's like to be there, the different programs that we have, the clubs, the activities, the sports, all those things that eighth grade students are curious about. We also go through the classes that they will be selecting. Uh, especially for those ninth grade students when they come in, uh, we want them to make sure that they're aligned with the proper courses. So we go through all of the core classes, English, math, science, social studies, world language, all those type of classes, as well as some of the elective courses that they can take. And we are there to explain those classes, answer questions to help students understand what are all the options for them as they're in, coming in as a ninth grade student. So that'll happen in January. Another thing that we do is we go through that um, selection process for students, and especially for those middle school students in eighth grade. We help explain to them what does that involve? What is the selection process? How do they go about choosing their classes? And their middle school counselors will work with them as well. That's another thing that we'll be working with all of the high school students in February, is going through the 
process of picking their courses. We meet with them individually. And that's an important time as well. Um, another thing that we're going to offer our juniors uh, at the high school level is a practice ACT test. Uh, that's an important test for students. It's a college entrance test that if a student is going to apply to a four-year college or university, they must have an ACT score in order to get in. There are a lot of other components that are looked at as well, GPA and activities that they do. But the ACT test is an important test, and that test is given to all juniors in March. So we want to give them an opportunity to have a practice test. So towards the end of January and the beginning of uh, February, we're going to give all those juniors a chance to take that test. It mirrors the real one that they'll be taking in March, but it's a nice opportunity for them to see what the questions are like, to understand the pacing that's involved, and also we'll give them the results of those uh, of their scores as well. So they can see areas that they need to work on, areas that they can improve upon, so they get the best opportunity to get the best score they can when they take that test in March. So January is, is a very important time for students. We're looking at grades. We're also looking at the courses that they're going to be taking in the next year. So it, it's a busy time for us in counseling and also a very busy time for students and for you at home too, for parents. Uh, it's important that you are involved with your student through this whole process. And our offices are always available. Please call us if you have questions as we go through this. We're happy to help everybody as we step through this important time. Um, that's it for this month. Please join us next month for Counselor's Corner when we cover a lot of important topics for the month of February.